with our Fox 4 house calls with Dr. Andy, and he just told me there's crazy glue for your body, which we got to <laughs> find out more about this. So we're talking about stitches, and when is a wound so bad you really need stitches? Because a lot of us will just, you know, pack on the Band-Aids, pack on the gauze, and wait for it to stop bleeding. Right, right, especially late in the day. You're busy doing everything around the house. You know, how you how you know if you need stitches? There are three basic rules that I use. Okay. Um, the first is the depth or the size of the wound. And there's some general guidelines, an eighth of an inch deep if it goes through the skin. Um, but, you know, most people have a good idea looking at a cut whether they think it needs stitches. So I would say trust your gut. If you even think it needs stitches, it needs to have it looked at. Okay, and even for adults, because a lot of adults will say, ah, nah, it's going to be fine. Right, and, you, you know, stitches are not the end all be all. They basically help a wound heal that would otherwise not heal well on its own. So there are a lot of wounds that don't need, they don't, need stitches because they will heal and close, but they might be left with a much larger scar. They might take a lot longer time to heal and they could get infected. So stitches will help all that. What about, you always hear head wounds are going to be the ones that really gush the blood. Do all head wounds need stitches? Well, we just have a lot of blood supply in the skin and our scalp and face. So um, again, I would go based on the size, based on how, whether it's bleeding. Also, based on what caused it. You know, if it was a dog bite, for example, we're less likely to use stitches. but even more likely to need somebody to look at it. Right. And also how old it is. More than six hours, most of us won't sew up, won't sew up a wound without some sort of uh, alterations of our methods. So if you, need, think, if you think you need stitches, you really need to have somebody look at it ASAP. Do it immediately. Okay. You said this is crazy glue. What is yeah. this? Well, this, this is actually similar to crazy glue. The difference is that, is that this is um, it's sterile. First of all, as you can see, it's packed in a sterile right. back package. And the, and the viscosity is a little different. It actually gives with your skin. So if you put crazy glue on your skin, it will actually not give when you bend and flex right. your skin. Right. It's like almost frozen. This actually will give and bend. The big difference also is that it's probably a lot more expensive. It probably costs more than all the equipment on the table that I use for sewing up a wound. Wow. Um, the difference is that there's no needles involved. It's great for, cer for certain wounds, and especially for kids. Parents love it. Um, right. And, of course, doctors love it, too. I never go anywhere without it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> never leave home without your crazy glue. And as a house called doc, can you, like, if somebody calls say, hey, I think my kid needs stitches, you can do it right there on the scene? That's, you know, every doctor's office is capable of putting in sutures. Um, and if your doctor says you can't put in stitches, then you probably need to find a new doctor. Because all of us are trained. It's an easy procedure to do. Um, if it happens after hours, urgent care centers are great. But as you noted, as you just mentioned, you don't need an office. I do it about once or twice a month. And, you know, I, there's a, there, there's sterile equipment. I mm -hmm. do it with sterile gloves, the same gloves surgeons use in the operating room. We use special cleaning equipment. It's, um, you don't need walls in an office to do it. And also, don't try using the sewing needle at home. Don't That's do it. not going to be a good idea. You're asking for an infection, which is going to turn out to be a lot worse than, than, than you started with. All right. If you have any more questions for Dr. Andy about stitches or anything else medical related, I want to just give him a call. Maybe your kid needs stitches this afternoon. 694-6246, Dr. AOL at phc-nd.com. Thank you so much. Crazy.